because there are many things to talk about, but I would like to 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 read my New Year's message for 2000, for 2021, uh, 2021 New Year's message from Carlos and Brisa. Brisa is the Intellectualist Brigade of Solidarity with me in his family such called Carlos. He read like this. Gone is 2020. Year full of uncertainties, menaces, and changes with consequences yet to be known to mankind. Welcome 2021, which will require revolutionaries to do our utmost solidarity, collaboration, humanism, love, and detachment to help the vulnerable, the lost, the forgotten, and the oppressed. All in this way can we achieve a better, fairer, and more loving world with dignified, complete, and bodily lives, in harmony with nature and our planet. This dream is within our reach and becomes increasingly viable in the face of the inability, weakness, indifference, and contempt shown by the imperialist, service hegemonic system that has long dominated the world. The increasing levels of consciousness of the people for nations has made that dream more visible on the horizon of times to come. All united and being solidarious can obtain our long-expected vindication for authentic and long-for human condition. These were my sincere wishes, and uh, we should not forget that I am over 26 years in prison by the Spanish imperialists in France. I didn't say French, so it's an imperialist, and so it's, they use France for this. Anyway, I thank the people who are people there with me, my Turkish brothers and comrades, and uh, all the revolutionary comrades, all the patriotic and internationalist people, because the true internationalist must be a patriot who loves his country and the same fight for the, for the rights of everybody else. This is internationalism, from my point of view. Whatever, I want to finish now with the following. Happy and popular and prosperous New Year 2021. Whatever. Uh, there is the following. There is an email. Zibelen Eilich arroba gmail point com, point com. And it's a Twitter too. I don't have access to this, but I know they're doing, they're doing this for me. Arroba Brisa para Carlos. This is Twitter. Whatever, I think my, my lawyers in Turkey, they have these things and they can just write it properly. Whatever. I will talk about something else. We are facing the most terrible situation. Muslims are supposed to be an example for the rest of the world. Muslims respect all the other beliefs, all the other religions. I mean, the followers of all the other religions, expecting that the time people will become Muslims, and increasingly more and more people are becoming Muslims. And we have a situation now, and we so-called Muslims in Muslim countries, which is Muslim governments, so-called Muslim governments, they are allied with Israel. Allied with Israel. This is not new, we have talked about it before. We know for many, many years that Dubai was having relations with the Zionist state of Israel, with the, with the special services of Israel. Even they try to kill a man and they make a mistake, they kill the wrong man and what, years, years ago. 
And they were there, these Israelis, because they are Israelis. And they had a relation with those traitors in Dubai. Can't believe this. And they pretend to be Muslims. They pretend to be Muslims. These are Muslim uh, uh, states. And uh, this is Dubai, so, but uh, Abu Dhabi, they are also co cooperating. And the wars, I repeat, I said before, I want to repeat it. Our Holy Land is Palestine, our Holy Land. But it is the holiest land for all Muslims. Mecca and Medina. And there, people who control this were destroying all the historical sites that nobody ever touched. Are destroying this to build the for making money and not supposed to be to build the new buildings, historical sites, houses should be respected, should not be destroyed, to be kept. And unfortunately, not enough reaction from the Muslim world, or so called Muslim world governments. Can you believe that Syria, in spite of the mistakes, the Syrian government, which is not the Muslim government, which is controlled by the Alawites, which are not, uh, they have something to do with Islam, of course, is at the origin, but it's not, they are not Muslim, they have their own, see, these people are less treasures, I don't say they are not, they are, they are less treasures, than most of the, of the so-called Muslim regimes. How can you understand this? The Algerian regime, which is not an example for the world, are less traitors than all the neighboring countries. Than all the neighboring countries. All these countries like Morocco, Eat already Jesus and they try to pay with his life. The president who betrayed up the Nazis and the exemplary Egyptian revolution. I'm talking about Sambo Salad, of course. He paid with his life. But the regime, not as it continues in a way, the relation with Israel. Blah, 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 blah. This is not right. But at the same time, the two Muslim militants are being persecuted, and imprisoned, and killed. And even the Christians are attacked by so called jihadists. Never is true jihadists attack the Muslims, attack the Christians. The Prophet protected them like at the time of the Prophet and his successors. But I want to come to the following. We are in a complete mess. We are in a complete mess. The Venezuelan government is trying to have its historical rights on the Esequibo coast. The Esequibo was taken by the British at the end of the 19th century. And then there was a good government and but there was independence. The president was a good man of Indian origin. His wife was a, a, a United States citizen, huge origin, a very good woman too, you know, anti and the, and the colonialist. But whatever, you have now a regime which is open to Western oil exporting companies. And it's a complete mess. We're serving on the war. Of course, it could invade the uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a such a huge country, you know. But it will be it will be war against Venezuela. And there will be the way to do it. Especially because the people from Guyana, in the Sequibo Guyana area, the Indians are for Venezuela. 
they are want to be like to be in Venezuela and the because this territory is mostly populated by local Indians, by tribes. Well, this continues and continues and continues. The Venezuelan government talks, say, declare, but they finally don't give it that. The whole companies, they have the last word, and they are supported, not only by a dirty man like Trump, but the, the system is such that even with the new government, which is much better than the one before, they will not change that much. They will be a bit more of respect, and, but the imperial system continues. And uh, this is in my country of birth, which is supported by good people, by the Chinese, by the Russians, by the dear comrade President Erdogan, he openly declared the Pope of Venezuela years ago already. And I never forget, I never forget that he told Maduro that he would be taken out of prison and brought back to Venezuela. He had the courage, the honesty to do this. Of course, the regime in Turkey is perfect. The regime is perfect. Oh, sorry, almost, Stalin was almost perfect. He didn't kill enough people, but, well, I'm joking. Whatever, we are going to year 2021. And what's going on in the world? Still it's a mess. Only the traitors, you openly the betrayal, and nobody's doing anything. Qatar, the Qatar regime, which is uh, it's not a revolutionary regime, but at least they are not traitors. They are not traitors. They try to keep relation with the with the West because they don't want to be attacked. But they are not. I know my my, my brother and two sisters in law, the brother in law and two sisters in law, Palestinian, they were born in, in in Qatar, my my mother alone was uh, responsible for a part of a, of a bank, a bank in Qatar. A woman, a foreign woman, Palestinian, who was not the main director, a second uh, a kind of director, you know, in a bank, an important bank in Qatar. So this country is it's not a bad country. The feudal system and power goes from father to son. They are not betraying with Israelis. Now, those are a little bit open to them, but I trust that the Turkish presence in Qatar will protect them. Because they make a play double game. And uh, I'm a socialist, a non communist, but when you have a feudal regime, like, which is not a traitor, in which the population is living well, and fully working hard to work, and they have certain rights, and they get fairly decent salary. So this regime should be protected. And of course, you say, well, we should be having a democratic regime and the liberal vote heavy, which is okay. But this could be considered in the case of Qatar only after all these other so called Muslim regimes have fallen. And the peoples of the Arabian Peninsula will take their rights in their hands and build up governments, be them Muslim religious governments or not. Whatever, it's the people who should decide. I don't know what will happen. I hope I will live long enough to see this.
and I will go to prayer in Mecca, in a free Mecca, whatever. We don't know what is going to happen. Nobody knows. Our Lord knows. But He's not informing us because we have to fight from our situation, our point of view. In my case, I got a little bit. I make some interviews and I continue. Whatever my best wishes for the readers of the Italian comrades magazines, monthly, weekly magazines, and let's hope I will see my wonderful and solidarious Turkish soldiers very soon. Unfortunately, I should go to a trial still, but unfortunately, King of everything is delayed because of the pandemic, coronavirus, these of people have died already, and a hundred million people and more are contaminated. God thanks, I am still in good health, I'm a strong man, and uh, God willing, I will see my lawyer very soon before returning to Venezuela. And then I will be able, from my country of birth, my homeland, my spiritual homeland is Palestine, but my land where I was born, which I love, is Venezuela, and I would like to be there and help with the, with the Bolivarian Revolution. That is less and less revolutionary every year it passes. And it should go back to its initial revolutionary aspirations. Rahuagua.